What is up you guys, Glitches here coming at you with another Genshin Impact video. Today is day two for my NA players of the Unreconciled Stars event. Uh, and with that, we have three new locations that we can complete quests for and hunt down those meteorite shards. So I wanted to create a quick video giving you all the absolute fastest farm route to collect every single one of those meteorite shards so you can uh, gather that currency up and buy that sweet loot in the new event shop. So the first place we got is the Cape Oath area in Mondstadt and uh, that has 19 shards we're gonna be hunting down. The next one is the Qingyung Peak area. That's the largest and most annoying area. That's got 21 shards we'll be looking for. And lastly, we have the Shoal area south of Mingyung Village and that has 17. Uh, but the first one that we're going to be jumping into is the Cape Oath location. Um, for those of you that uh, don't want to watch the quick speed of the, the farming route, here is a map that I made that is numbered to give you the exact order of every location that you need to go. Uh, but for those of you that are watching, the first thing we want to do is travel to the northern waypoint. And now once we're here, the first one is going to be right behind you along these rocks. Second one is going to be right on the edge of the cliff right behind that. Just snag it and you can ignore pretty much all of the uh, enemies as you're running and grabbing all these. Uh, hop on the glider, hit that vent, and the third one is going to be at the edge of the peak. I did uh, scope out all of these locations to make sure uh, I had every single one. Um, so don't worry about missing any. Uh, after that third one, we want to take back the uh, teleport location and start grabbing the ones that are along the shore. So we head over here and the fourth one is right by the edge of the cliff. Again, just ignore the slimes and all the monsters. Head back to the teleporter and then we're going to hit the northern ones. So you hop down from the teleporter. The next one is right by these rocks. Continue down a little bit. Next one's going to be right behind this little rock wall here. Continue on. And now this one, you're going to run into a frost abyssal, abyssal mage. Uh, you can ignore him, just snag it and then run away. Uh, technically the 10th one on the map is straight ahead, but if you're having issues with that frost mage, you can uh, just run backwards and do that one after the 20th numbered location on the map. But the next thing we want to do is actually teleport to the Eagle's Gate um, uh, dungeon uh, because the next one is outside of the Southern Hilladrill camp and it's on that tall platform. Uh, so it's best to come up here first. That way you have the height and it makes it a lot easier to glide down and, and get the next one. You'll see here in a minute. So yeah, there it is. It's right on that big tall pillar. So you take that uh, Dominion location waypoint and then uh, run to the top of the cliff and glide down. The next two are dead center in the middle of the first Illichero camp, in the middle of the rock pile. And then the final one in this area is gonna be in the far back of the camp at the top of the tower. So snag that, and then once we get that, you can actually head to the left waypoint From here, we're gonna head north and snag the one that's by the shrine. I uh, couldn't find it here in the beginning. Uh, it's actually on the front side by the rocks. So snag that. And once you get this one, you can waypoint uh, back to the teleporter location and head on to the next one. So from here, we're gonna hit the one that's at the base of the cliff ledge. Again, ignore the hillichurl. Snag that up. The next one is gonna be at the top of this uh, tree archway. So just quickly run to the top and it'll be right in between the, the cross section of the two logs. The next one is gonna be at the top of that right hilly churl tower. So you're gonna have to climb up the ladder and uh, probably knock off the archer that's uh, guarding it. Could be a little annoying. So snag this one and then we're going to run up here and this is the number 10 one 
uh, on the map that I ignored before because of the mage, but it's actually probably quicker getting it now because uh, A, you don't have to worry about him fighting you, and B, you can just quickly climb back up this cliff and uh, it allows you to glide right down into the northern hilly troll uh, camp to grab this next one. So we just head north a little bit. The next one is right along this rock wall. And then I messed up here. I wasn't paying attention to my mini map, uh, but you're actually gonna wanna immediately go right, not left the way I did. And it's right in the little uh, boar pen. So snag that. And then again, we can head back to our waypoint. And then the last two are gonna be in that second Southern Hilichero camp. So we can just glide down. Head over to the entrance. And now this first one is gonna be right as you pass by this left fence, wrap around behind it. And it's right along these little rocks on the edge of the wall. And then the last one for the Cape Oath area is right in the back end of the Hill of Trail Camp on top of the tree. So just climb up and snag the last uh, meteorite shard. Now that you got all those, you can go into the event page. And by now, you have more than enough to claim that first quest reward. So snag that and we'll jump into the next location. All right, so for the next location, we're gonna jump over to the Shoal Sandbar area, uh, Southmore. And again, here's the map that I laid out with the order of every location we're gonna be going to. Feel free to pause and uh, take a look at that if you don't wanna watch the, the uh, farming route. But the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the Statue of the Seven and immediately jump over to this first rock pillar and the first shard is gonna be on the top of the rock. Next one, you're just gonna glide down to this lower level, and it's gonna be right under this tree here. Quickly snag that one up. Next, we're gonna continue on. The third one is right at the base of the steps leading into this little ruin area. And again, ignore all the enemies, they shouldn't uh, aggro if you follow the path that I'm taking. Next, we're gonna cross this little sandbar, ignore the golem. And the fourth one is right on the beach here. The next one, we're gonna swim over to this little atoll where all the enemies are. And on the back side of it is where you'll find the next shard. All right, so once we snag this one, you can actually uh, teleport to the middle waypoint. And once we're here, this one is gonna be up in that middle tree area. So you wanna just climb up these rocks, jump onto the tree, and I'll be right there in the middle. Watch your step, it's a, kind of a annoying little platform, tend to slip off. But you snag that one, and then we're gonna head right over to this next tree. Grab this one real quick. And then from here, we're gonna head south a little bit. And the next one is being excavated by a bunch of hilly trolls. Smack them around a little bit, get them out the way, and grab the next one. Then we're gonna continue on. And the, this one is on the back side of this little rock pillar. So again, watch your step. It's a thin little ledge, but it's right there on the back side. So snag that one up. Now from here, we're gonna just cross the sandbar really quick and uh, beat down these water slimes to grab the next meteorite shard. Grab that. Now we're going to head over to the southern little island where that boathouse is. Just cross this little plateau area. And the next one is gonna be right inside this broken down rowboat. So 
So we snag that, and then we're gonna backtrack a little bit. Because the next one is actually over here on this other island. And this one, much like the other one, is gonna be on top of the rock on the back side. So just climb up the back and you'll find the shard there. Now from here, we can head back to the Statue of the Seven. Turn around and glide right down to the next one that's going to be on the top of this little hill here. Quickly grab that one. And then from here, we're going to glide across to the next little cliff. And now this one's actually going to be on the second highest peak, like right behind this one. So you can climb up to the top. I wanted to grab that geo coin there. And it's going to be on this little uh, cliff pillar on the back side of that. So just drop down and you can snag this one. Now from here, we're going to quickly teleport to the middle waypoint by the bridge. And the next one is going to be right along the water line uh, underneath the bridge, about halfway up. So we just run along these platforms here, and you'll find the next one right under the bridge on this little rock here. Now from here, the next one's pretty close. You're gonna just wrap around to the right, and right in the center of that little pond area on the top of that little stone pillar, you'll find the next shard. And that's the second to last shard for this area. Again, there was only 17 that we're looking for uh, in this area. So from here, you just quickly run to the last one. This is gonna be south a little bit. Cross this little field and drop down and you'll find this one right up against the rock wall. And that's the last meteor shard for the shoal area. Again, open up your event tab, and you'll have more than enough to collect the second quest. And now we'll head into the third location. All right, so for this third and final farming route, we're gonna head over to the Qingyong Peak area. Now this is the longest and probably the most annoying just because a lot of the shards are located on top of those really tiny, tall peaks. Uh, but again, here's the map I made, uh, all numbered with the exact order of where to go each step of the way, including when you need to go to the waypoints. But the first thing you wanna do is head to that northernmost uh, teleport waypoint. And from here, we're gonna just immediately turn right around and scale this little cliff. And the first shard in this zone is gonna be right on this second level platform here. Snag that up and then immediately glide down. The second one is gonna be right on this lower level pillar. Again, most of these are gonna be on top of the little peaks. So we're gonna grab that second one. And then uh, to save time climbing, you wanna immediately head back to the teleport waypoint to get some more height. And from here, we're gonna turn around and head to the right peak over here. Just glide down. It's gonna be right on top of this rock pillar. Snag that one up, and now we wanna glide backwards to the north and snag the one that's being guarded by these uh, bandits here, these treasure hoarders. So to rough them up a little bit, and uh, the next shard will be right where they were excavating. So we're gonna pick that one up. Now we wanna head to the middle teleport waypoint, not the Statue of the Seven, but the middle uh, teleporter waypoint. And the next shard is gonna be right below it on the side of the uh, rock pillar. So just drop down and snag this next one. And from here, I'm gonna climb up a little bit because we gotta go around and glide down from the opposite side. 
But next we're going to head over to this little northern peak. And this one's going to be on the back side of the little cliff here. So just drop down and snag the next one. Now from here, again, to save time climbing, we're going to head to the Statue of the Seven Waypoint to get some height. And we're immediately going to drop down and uh, say hello to these hilly churls. <laughs> and they're going to be digging up the next one. So go and steal that. Head back to the teleporter waypoint again, again to get some height. And this time we're going to go to the left peaks now. So this first one's going to be on the back side of the lower peak, right by the little geo crystal there. Snag that one up, and then we're going to teleport again. So head to that initial starter waypoint, and continue on to that first closest tall peak that's in the middle. So just glide over to that. Get to the top and the crystal is going to be right at the top of the shard. Snack that one and then immediately glide over, use the gust, it should carry you all the way and the next shard is going to be on this peak. For those of you that don't know, this second peak is an amazing spot to collect bird eggs. Uh, so check that every few days if you want some uh, fresh food for your cooking supplies. And the meteor shard is going to be right on the back side of this peak. Now from here, we want to teleport to the Mount uh, Hula waypoint. Because the next one we want to get is on the back side of this little rock peak. Couldn't find it here at first, but it's right on the back side of it. They love trolling you by putting these shards on the back sides of all these cliffs. Once again, we're going to head back to the waypoint to get some height. And now we're going to go north this time. So we're going to glide over to this little northern peak. And the next shard is actually going to be on this tree branch right here. So just glide onto the branch. Should be able to get it in one fell swoop. Just land on the tree and snag it up. Now we're going to go back to the waypoint again and go in the opposite direction. Now we're going to hit that third middle peak there. Glide down, get some of those local specialties. And the shard was right on the rock by the uh, Sealy altar there. And then immediately we're going to glide over to the fourth and final pillar in the middle. This is the extent of all the climbing you're going to have to do right here. <laughs> because of all the teleport waypoint locations. So I'm going to snag that one. And then from here we should have enough height to reach this final rock pillar. Just glide over, again pick up the ingredients, and snag the next shard. Now the next one is actually in that tree ahead of us, but it's on the, actually no, I take that back. The next one's going to be on this pillar right here. You want to glide down real quick, snag the one on the pillar. And now the next one after this one is going to be on the top branch of that tree in the middle but it's a pain in the butt to climb. So again, we're gonna quickly use the teleporter waypoint to get some height. And uh, from here, we can just glide down and land directly on top of it and not have to worry about climbing. Just quick 
quickly fall down, glide down right to this top branch, and you should see it right in the middle of that highest most branch. Now from here, we're just gonna drop down. The next one's right underneath this little cherry blossom type tree. Again, just ignore the enemies, snag that up. And then the next one is gonna be just inside of this hilly trail camp, right to the left of the entrance. You're gonna wrap right to the left of the entrance and it'll be right there. And now here, we're gonna teleport to the southern waypoint. And we're gonna grab the last shard. So from here, it's just a quick glide down. A couple treasure hoarders are guarding it. Beat them up real quick. And snag the final one. So yeah, that's all the meteorite shards for today. And again, once you collect this last one, you can go into your event tab and uh, snag up that final quest reward. And there you have it. That's every meteorite shard for today's farm. With the fastest possible routes. You get this little incident report once you find the last one and finish that third quest. And now we just wait 22 more hours for the next event checkpoint sure to go into the shop and spend all that precious loot. Personally, I think the Hero's Wit and the Experience books are the main priority. Next thing would be the uh, 10k Mora ones, uh, and then you can grab your shards, and then the final Mora one's really not worth it. Um, you can kind of skip that one. You can get it faster other ways. But yeah, definitely go for the Experience books first, and uh, you'll be good to go. And yeah, that pretty much covers it. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss any of my future Genshin Impact content, then consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on notifications uh, so you don't miss any of my uh, future updates. With that being said, I hope you all had a great day, and I will catch you in the next one. Later. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're looking to join a killer community of like-minded gamers, then be sure to click the link in the description and join the Glitch Gang Discord server. We continue to grow every day and it's filled with all your favorite game discussion channels as well as several LFG channels to help you find that perfect group for your next hunt or raid. Lastly, if you're new to the channel and want to keep up to date with all my future content, then consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Hope you all had a great day and I will catch you on the next one.